Hi everyone, I'm gonna make this ring tonight. Uh, it's a bezel wire ring. I had a request, uh, was uh, asked uh, to me that how I could, you could make a bezel ring with soft um, wire, which is like, if you guys are familiar with uh, these blue soft wires, which is kind of look like <clears throat> this. You buy them like in uh, packs. And then there's different gauges. This is uh, smaller and this is like a little bit larger gauge. And I have the samples here with me. And I'm gonna make a bezel ring. I'm gonna choose one of these stones here. I have white um, cubic zirconia for the sample. I think I'm gonna get uh, like six millimeter, which is like one carat size. So this one is number 10. Uh, the gauge is, and I'm gonna, basically wrap around this stone, make a bezel with it. So the way I'm gonna make it is, I'm gonna cut a little piece like that. And um, this is what I'm making actually. I need to show you guys what I'm making. So it's a bezel, that's the stone, right? And that's like that. And it's gonna be a band, like, like a wire band here. And there's gonna be a bezel set stone. This is what, was the request so in order to do that I'm gonna try to take this thing here the wax and I'm gonna flatten it like that All right, so this is, I'm so used to it, but this is about uh, one millimeter thickness. And when you look from the side, you're gonna see where you need to a little bit, like do a little more. Kind of like you pay attention to the side. You can use your gauge. I'm not using gauge because I'm like so used to making this. So basically, this is what you're gonna make. This is where flat bezel and the stone is here. So I have enough room for the depth. It's not gonna come out. And I'm gonna kind of like take something tapered like this. You gotta find, which is I'm using this um, tool that you could, this is jewelry tool. And then, so you're gonna cut nice, sharp cut. You guys, I made this knife. It's a special, really fine uh, tip. I use it to cut my wax and I have a video. You guys can go and watch this video of how to make this knife. 5.5 millimeters. And I wanna see where is 5.5, which is here this is 5.5 millimeters so I'm gonna kind of like wrap around here somewhere here like that it's that easy to make a bezel with this wax and then I want to cut okay just like go like that your finger print uh, finger uh, the, the skin is it's warm so it makes this wax warm like that and then you have to kind of like slowly push it out because it gets sticky it's warm and let's try and see if this stone is going to fit here nicely or if it's too big or a little bit big so because it's a little bit big i'm gonna cut maybe like one millimeter about and then just go slightly tighter smaller bezel so to speak like that just make roll it like that make sure this is like nice and round and i'm gonna try again perfect 
This is perfect because it's slightly tapered. It's always nice to have a bezel that is slightly tapered. So we're gonna put the heat and come here and get a small wax going here. Just burn like that, make sure like it's all nice and closed up. I'm gonna give it a minute, let it cool down. Like that. You want to be patient here. You don't want to rush it because um, this takes a uh, few like 25 seconds or so to, to dry nice where you can do some work on it. Kind of like dry now. And then just shave off this excess wax, the extra wax. Make sure this is nice and tapered. Okay, so we got a nice bezel. This is the stone that we're working with. So now I want to make the band, this band here, okay? So I want to use this gauge, which is, I think this is 16 gauge, which is 1.6 millimeter, I believe. 1.5, 1.6 millimeter. I think this band is really nice. With this guy here, I'm gonna do a size maybe six and a half. There. The average is six, six and a half. I'm gonna do six and a half, I believe. So all I wanna do is like just wrap this thing around, just come here, and then do a nice cut and take this excess out and then this out. Just put it here. Okay, so for me, get a little bit of this wax and let's give it a burn like that. Give it a yeah, see that's what happens. So in order for this to not to happen that, what you want to do is like sometimes you have to go a little bit smaller, like size two and a half or something like that. It has kind of like a little bit of memory and then you just push it back to size six and half and you want do that a lot it would give you a little time to burn and just hold it nice together remember it takes like 25 seconds 30 seconds to dry be patient Right here, I want to make sure that this is like nice and good and even. Like that. Just push it gently, let it form beautifully. Alright, so I just want to push it back. Like that. Okay, now, like it's so it, it releases itself. So now I want to take this bezel. So I want to put it like here. So there's a few ways you can do this. Either you can just like kind of gently give it a tap, let it kind of like stick to it like that. And then you want to make sure that it's evenly um, sitting there. It's not tilting one side. Remember you guys, I've done this so many times. It's easy for me, but it's not that difficult either, You guys, as you guys can see. So now I can take my heat uh, and burn, uh, give it a little burn and it will work. But better way to do this is to use um, crazy glue. 
and this is gonna work much better because it's gonna look like it was soldered in there. So this is how it goes. It just because it's sticky, it's sticking together now, and I'm I'm good. All I want to do is get something like this, a little bit round, circular, and I want to put a little bit of glue like that and just apply it gently right there and as you guys know the glue is wet it wants to kind of go and like i can guide it slightly in like that and then take a little more here and do this other side like that just guide it underneath there there perfect so I can put from inside just a little bit it's okay if it's too much a little bit later on you guys can clean this and pretty much this is it it's a bezel wire ring where you can set your center stone in there and if you if you like you can make smaller size bezels you can put on the sides you know you can put um, I don't know you can put uh, you can make a circle around it, you can insert it in there and then you can put a little bit of glue and then that makes it um, like a halo ring and you can do so many things with this. You can put settings in there, you can do anything you want now. But as far as goes uh, bezel ring, wire bezel ring, this is how you make it. Nicely, just be gentle. It's a soft wax and there. It's a beautiful bezel ring. This is how you make bezel ring with this soft wax. Remember, I use you guys can use any gauge you want, but the gauge that I will use, I didn't use this gauge, but definitely this one with 14 gauge was the band, and 10 gauge was the bezel wire where I flatten it and made the bezel with. So, so this is how it's made. If you guys have any other questions, please let me know. Leave comments down below and don't forget to do the thumbs up and I appreciate that. And uh, yes, that is how you make it. Thank you.